In a part of Iowa where the air is seldom still, a school district counts on a rock-solid constant. With each turn of two wind turbines right next door, Spirit Lake schools save. In 1993, the district built the first wind turbine in the Midwest used to power a school. Since then, it's added a second, larger turbine. The two combined earn about $120,000 a year for the school. That may not sound like a lot until you put it in human terms. Well, it will mean anywhere from two to three teachers, which is very important at a time right now. Inside the larger, newer turbine, you get a sense of its size. This turbine stands 180 feet to the hub height. It's anchored by dozens of steel rods that plunge 25 feet into a concrete foundation. What type of a wind could this withstand? Uh, it's rated to stand up to 130 mile an hour winds. No small consideration on Buffalo Ridge, a part of Iowa, where a tornado is not out of the question. The turbines are designed to shut down in strong winds. In just eight mile an hour winds, they'll produce energy. Unlike the smaller turbine, the larger one sends power to the grid, not the school. This little school district has become an energy exporter. Physics teacher Jan Beloit can't imagine why schools wouldn't want wind power. Oh. <laughs> Beyond the economic benefit, he finds value in a learning lab right outside. When I talk about force and energy and electricity, they see that uh, we're producing it right here. Students even keep track of the fossil fuels the schools no longer consume just to keep the lights on. We're talking tons of carbon dioxide. We're talking tons of sulfur dioxide. We're talking hundreds of trees. So, you know, it's not just a small thing. Harnessing the power to earn and learn on Buffalo Ridge. The future will be written in the wind. Wow.